Welcome to a brand new series and another week of Bible study. This series, we are talking about faith. We're talking about owning your faith. And the name of this series is called Own It. And what we're doing in this series, we are just talking about owning your faith. We're talking about God's timing. We're talking about trusting God. And we're going to talk about focusing on God in the next four weeks we have left of this year or in the next two weeks of next year. This week, we have a guest speaker. Their name is Isabella Jackson. And it is their it is their second time preaching, but it's the first time on video. And I want you guys to give them, uh, wherever you are, just give them a round of applause, uh, whether you're in your living room whether you're in your room whether you're watching this on your phone or, or your um, iPad I want you just to go ahead kind of give, give them a little a little clap you know um, and check out this message it's a little it's a shorter one but it still has some really good stuff in it I don't that's called God's timing and not mine so I'm gonna be talking about trusting in God and his timing and things that happen in our lives so we'll be in Genesis 17 we're going to talk about Abraham and Sarah and their promised child. So it says, when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said that I am the almighty God and walk before me and be thou perfect. So Abraham is just telling, um, no, God is telling Abraham and Sarah to follow him. And if they do, he'll promise them a child. So they had a choice to either follow God or stay at home while comfortable with their friends and family. But sometimes, as a Christian, God has needs to push, push you out of your comfort zone. So they trusted God, so they followed him. And years went by, and God reminded them of their promised child. And it says that Abraham fell on his face and laughed, and said in his heart, Shall a child be born to one who is 100 years old? And shall Sarah, who is 99 years old, bear a child? So, you know, like, usually people have, like, kids like, like 20 or 30, you know, like, around that age. But... Um, Abraham's 100 and Sarah's 90. That's like that's like your grandma having a child right now. <laughs> so um, uh, it took you know it took a little time for um, God to give them their child, but in the end he did come through. And God's delays aren't exactly denial. So just because he delayed a little bit, it doesn't mean that it isn't gonna happen. So just because it took a little time, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen at all. In the end, he will come through. So God said he was going to give him a child, and in the end, he did. Does, um, so, so, you know, a lot, a lot of people have hobbies, and um, I, I have hobbies, so I like, I like to paint. But um, the problem with that is that I start painting, I start it, and I never finish it, because, you know, painting takes time, and I'm kind of impatient. So, um, but God is, like, nothing like that at all. Everything that he starts in your life, he is going to finish it. And once he starts something in your life, he literally always, he will finish it. Again. So Philippians 1, six it says, I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finished one day, on the day when Jesus Christ returns. So there might be something that God started in your life, and you might feel like it's been a while, and you just don't think he's going to finish it. But to us, it seems like it's too late, it's been too long, he won't finish it. But God will finish it in the end. And in 2 Corinthians it says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Our timeline is in God's hand. And he knows what he started in your life. He knows where it's going to take you. And so we have to walk by faith. Just because it seems like God is too late, it doesn't mean he isn't going to come to you in the end. Just like with Abraham and Sarah, it took a little time for their child to come. But in the end, he did meet. So, um, God sees everything, and if you could see everything that he sees, then you probably understand why he does what at what time. So, God's things are nothing like our ways. God's time is rarely ever our time. And God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And God's timing and our timing might be completely different things. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says that everything is appropriate in its own time. But though God has planted every, but, but though God has planted eternity in the hearts of men, even so, many cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So he's basically saying, just like I said, if you see, if we could see everything that God sees and everything that happens in our lives, then we would understand why God does what at what time. 
And God would never promise anything that you can't keep, and you won't start anything in your life that you can't finish. So my question today is, are you walking by faith and trusting in God's timing, or are you doing things on your own timing? That was such a great message. Bro, when she said God's delays aren't exactly God's denials, bro, that got me. That was a thing that got me. That was such, like, whoa. Um, that was such a great message. And I'm so happy for what God is doing in Isabella's life and how God is using her as a vessel to talk to y'all. Um, again, we are talking about faith. We're going to talk we're ta for the next few weeks. We're going to be talking about faith and how to own your faith, how to really trust God and how to, um, focus on him as well. Um, pretty soon we're going to be doing something called winter devos. Now during our um, winter break we are going to be having each day little devos that we'll post on either our instagram or our youtube or probably both of them we'll post on both our instagram and our youtube short little devos short little like messages to kind of help you get through your day and kind of help you get through your week speaking of devos and posting stuff we have an instagram you can follow us on at fccs underscore msbs it's a bunch of letters but we'll put it up on the screen for you to see it go ahead and follow us on there we'll post little um little little parts about the sermon little like we you know little thingies in there here and there um and little recaps of the sermon just kind of stuff to kind of like you want to stick to memory stick to mind well i hope you enjoyed this and hey if it's your first time or if it's maybe you've stumbled across this somehow or maybe you come to bible study but you want to rewatch the videos at some point you can go ahead and subscribe to our youtube you know, if you're on our Instagram, it's our it's the link in our bio. Or if you found us on YouTube, just right now, right here, um, you can just go ahead. So you can subscribe so you don't miss anything that anything we post each week. And you can also, if you want to, like the video. enough if God spoke to you, you can comment. If God if God spoke to you in this and you really enjoyed this, you go and like the video. Kind of. And if you want, you can boost this. I want you to, or I challenge you to share this to a friend, share this with someone, and go ahead and just advance the kingdom of god but I'm, I'm again i am so happy you clicked on this and i hope you have a great week and we'll see you next week